everybody welcome back to Jamia's promo and today I'm going to show you how you can bring back your LED notification light on the top of your Samsung Galaxy device. Not only that but also fully customize around your camera cutout and it doesn't only work with the Galaxy S20 series you can also have it work with the Galaxy S10. Now the application that we're using here is a free application on the Play Store and it's called AOD Notify. Now there is also a pro version which unlocks all of the features which that is the one that I have downloaded and purchased myself. Now originally the price was $299 but as I went into purchasing and I hit back because I wanted to basically cancel then it gave me a dollar off so now I purchased it for $1.99 and it's pretty nice and convenient having all of the features. You can go through everything in terms of how wide, how long, the type of style you would like to have with your camera cutout light notification, as well as the LED on the top left hand side. You can get custom always on display screens as well. So there is a lot going on with this application, so make sure you stay tuned for the majority of this video so you kind of know everything you're able to do. There's quite a few screens we have to go into to customize everything, uh, and then this is where you can purchase that pro version. Now you can see that this is still going off, and that is because I have a timer set for all notifications, because the purpose of this is to let you know your notifications when you're walked away, you're not next to your phone, so you come back about two or three minutes later, you can either see that circulating color or you can see the dot on the top left hand side and that will go until you get rid of the notification now this first one is dealing with notifications how is the notifications responding when are they going to be ignored when can they be marked as seen and which applications you want to work with this application so we're going to go inside of the apps on the very top now i have these ones selected and turned on that's why they're automatically located on the top Facebook, Gmail, Hangouts, Instagram, Messages, Messenger, Outlook, Snapchat, and Twitter. Now this originally started in alphabetical order until you turn them on. Once they're turned on and activated, they'll all be located on the very top. Now, the first thing you also wanna make sure is when you get this application downloaded, you accept all the permissions, you turn on all the overlays and everything else so this light is able to work with all these apps. Now the next one is events. If you have the free version, you won't be able to do these. So I selected the pro version because the main reason why I love the LED was when I'm away from my phone for multiple minutes, I see a blinking light on the top letting me know, is my phone charging? Is it fully charged? And which notifications did I get? Now, I, I only chose the option for fully charged because if my phone is charging or wirelessly charging, whatever it is, when I see that green little light on the top left, I know that it is fully charged and I can make sure it's unplugged or taken off. Now, this category in the middle is the ignore notifications. I have it turned on for the non-removable. So any of the notifications that I can't really remove, uh, I'm just gonna have them ignored. So that could be something with weather application or something updating. If it's gonna go away anyways, it's just gonna ignore it on the very top. So it doesn't have to light up a light for me. For marking notifications as seen, I want that to be as cleared. So that's by default. So when you clear your notification, that means that light will go away. Uh, but you can also have two other options. If you unlock your phone or if you turn on the screen, all the notification lights can go away. But I would rather have it like this because if I clear the notification, more than likely I have seen it. Now this next uh, category is notification light. This is where you fully customize how you want your light and LED to look. So when you go inside of the color, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, inside the color, the top section is for when your screen is on and this one is for when your screen is off. Now when the screen is on, I have it around the camera edge. So you noticed when I got a notification at the beginning of the video, it went only around the camera. Now you can put it around the edges if you want, but I already have edge lighting working. So I don't really have this as an option, but you can turn your edge lighting off and then you can have this application do it for you. And you can just fully customize how you want this thing to look. Uh, you can change the color, the thickness and how it looks and stuff like that. You also have the LED dot, which this you can see here is already set for the screen off. So I'm gonna go around my camera edge. This one on the very bottom is gonna be the LED dot and then you're done with the style. Now, when you head over into effects, this is where you can change the way that it looks. My favorite one is shimmer. Uh, so this is what the pulse looks like. You also have rotate, gravity, eclipse, eclipse light. Here's flash, center glow. Uh, and so you can put it as kind of like a, if you want it to kind of go up 
you know, vertically? Do you want it to be horizontal? So there's a lot of things you can do with this one. And then you have all the rest of these two, but I love the shimmer. Uh, it's my favorite one that I like to use. So I'm gonna hit on back, actually go back in the shimmer. Then right over here, you can change the speed. So if you want it to go just a little bit faster, and if you want it to go just a little bit slower. So I had mine somewhere around, I think it was 150. So we're gonna put it somewhere close to that and I'm happy with that effect. Now we're gonna head inside of the dimensions. This is where you can add in the thickness, you can resize it. Uh, so if you want it to be really thick, you can do that, but I wouldn't really highly suggest putting it too thick. You don't want it to cover anything that's on your screen, uh, but you also don't want it to be too thin. So <laughs> we're gonna go right there. Uh, you can resize it, but I suggest keeping it at zero. Here's the all the offsets. So if you want this to be somewhere completely different, you can also change the exact location if you want it to be moved over here. But the way that this is set up is actually for this phone with that center camera cutout. So we'll just leave that one the way that it's sitting. Uh, and then we can head right on back. The next thing you're gonna look at is gonna be the color mode. And so you can show the latest or you can show alternatively. So this just means, you know, each notification, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it'll kind of alternate between the colors of all of them. So you know that you have more than just one notification from, from one application. Next up is gonna be the quick dismiss. You can dismiss the notification light when you turn on the screen, which I'm not going to do that. Uh, and then the display time, how long do you want this LED light to be shown? So again, this is, uh, you know, if you're walking away from your phone and you wanna at least see a notification for two minutes, if you wanna see a notification for 30 minutes, but it will take up, you know, a little bit of your battery life. So I'm gonna put it, we'll put it at five minutes. I think that's a pretty good, you know, time frame. That means that I probably walked away, went into the kitchen or changed something, came right on back and I can see what is going on. Then you also have your interval mode. The notification light is shown X times and then paused. Uh, this will in also improve the battery life. So if you want it to kind of show, you know, five times and then disable it for one second and then show it again for four times. So this is a way that you'd also be able to save a little bit of battery life. So I'm going to probably keep mine just sitting like this. We're going to head right on back. And that was everything for the notification light. Now, notification preview. This is actually pretty cool. It's a way that you can get that preview that looks different than always on display. This display time of this right here will show for 30 seconds and then it can go back to whatever you had your phone set up to. So if you had your always on display on all the time or if you had your always on display showing only when you tap it, this is gonna be separate. This will show it you know, taking over your always on display and then it will kind of turn off. So I have this one set up for about 30 seconds because I have my little LED light letting me know I have something coming on. So you also have your header. You can just go through, you can change what you want to, to show, what you don't want to show. So if you don't want that always on display notify to show, turn that off and now you have your time, things like that. Show the icon row, notification titles, you can also show the text, which I don't really know if you need to have all the text on there. You can also align it left or you can have it centered and then go through and you can change the size, change the percentage of the text, the icon row, things like that. This all looks pretty good to me. You can also hit on this right here. Uh, you can actually preview it. So if you turn off your screen, you can take a look at what it looks like. Uh, but this is really what it looks like right there. So we don't need to go back another screen. For the always on display, this is how I have mine set up. This will actually take you into the settings of the actual Samsung settings. So hide the always on display. Uh, this one is only on notification. So activate the always on display when notifications arrive and disable always on display if not notifications are seen. So that's how I have mine set up right there. I don't wanna have always on uh, just because that'll take a little bit of battery. You can change your clock style. So this is literally going into, again, the Samsung settings of what you want your clock style to look like. So once you go through there, you can go through some of your general settings. Again, uh, this is everything for your lock screen. You can go inside of your always on display. You can make some settings changes there. Uh, and then you also have nighttime. So custom nighttime, follow do not disturb. So if you set up a do not disturb, which I do, this will actually go with that time setting so you won't get notification lights coming through. Uh, the display time at nighttime again, you can you can change. So I mean, there, there's so much going on right here. I actually pretty much left this all the exact same. Uh, and then I did go through the clock style, making sure I got the one I want and only on notification. So that's how I have mine set up. And then your very last one is gonna be the colors. This is where you can change the uh, app colors, the event colors, your contact colors, default colors. So you can have a default color come through if something comes through that you didn't really set up. 
So underneath the app colors, this is where you can go through and customize all of these. So Outlook, I put white, Snapchat yellow. Uh, this one's a lighter blue. These ones are pretty close to being the same blue, but in my eyes, not in the camera lens, I can actually see a small difference. Instagram, Hangouts, Gmail, stuff like that. So if I see a red light, I know I got Gmail. And all you'd have to do is just tap on the color and you can change it. And you can also go to custom color so you can go through fully customize everything that you need. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. Then when you go inside of event color, so for the phone being fully charged, I set it to green. Let's me know that it's it's done. <laughs> uh, and then contact colors. So you when you add in a new contact, you want to make sure that it's the same name that's displayed as your contact. So I physically wrote in wifey Suna and Bentley. And so if one of them sends me a text message or calls me, then this is their LED colors. And then when you go back a screen, this is where you have that last setting. So your general default color, if you want it to be something completely different. Uh, so if you know that you have nothing that is gray, then you can have it set up as gray. And so that's going to be custom. And then you can also have auto color. So you can set up an auto color if you want it to work with every single individual app with their general color. But because you notice that Twitter messages and messenger are pretty much the same blue, I wanted to go through and did my own small slight changes. Now you can go through, you can rate it, you can read me. Uh, there's FAQs and support, and then this is where you buy that pro version. Again, when I first tapped on pro version, uh, then I said that I wanted to buy it. Then it showed me how much it was. It said $2.99. I hit back and it said, hey, if you want to come back, we'll give you a dollar off or something like that. I don't know what happened, but I got it for $1.99. So two bucks uh, instead of three, just to get always on display notified. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.